everyone. It's uh, Rocky. I'm uh, here right now live on World Ghost Radio, and uh, it's it's been a it's been a great week. <laughs> it's been a definitely been a been an interesting um, definitely been an interesting week. So we got our guest today, uh, Marilyn Bass, and uh, she's coming into the studio. Unfortunately, uh, you can't see her, but if you go to uh, Radio Vegas Rocks on YouTube, it'll show. Uh, the whole, you know, the whole um, area here over at the at the studio. And how, how have you been? I'm good. How are you? I'm doing pretty good. good. Pretty good. Um, so uh, why don't you go ahead and uh, tell us a little bit about yourself and, um, you know, how how you got involved with uh, with the paranormal? Okay. Well, um, I'm a psychic medium. I grew up in Texas. I started at a very young age at being able to see and hear and do things. So uh, whenever I moved to Las Vegas, I decided uh, I'm also an author. So I do paranormal fantasies, and I wanted to get into um, kind of like a paranormal group and just do investigations. Mm -hmm. So I joined a group here in Las Vegas, and that's actually what got me started on investigating. Oh, okay. So. So I, that was fun for me, and it did nothing as far as a paranormal for the romance stories. But, <laughs> <laughs> but hey, you know, it got me in uh, doing the paranormal for the investigations and helping yeah. people. Yeah, yeah. Um, so how, how long have you been investigating for? For about 12 years. 12 years. Yes. That's, that's a very, very long time. It's been a while. Um, and... Uh, if anyone has any questions uh, for Mary Lynn, uh, you could always ask me here on the live Facebook and I will, uh, you know, I'll uh, shoot them out to her and uh, we'll, we'll, uh, she'll answer them for you. Um, so it's, man, it's, it's been a long time, you know, we, we've worked together before we and have. Um, done, you know, done some, some, you know, investigations and, uh, but my, my question is, is, uh, what 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 are you what where are you going like as far as like right now like um i see you doing like a lot of uh like uh work with uh energy yes i do a lot of spiritual work and helping i do a lot of readings and chakra alignments Uh, you've Mm -hmm. actually attended one of the classes i did i did and so um, we're just doing that. I do that uh, every other Saturday now. Mm-hmm. So, um, yeah, I'm just doing a lot of energy work. I do house clearings and all that and just also do space clearings just because it doesn't have to be in a building. It can also be your yard. It can be outside. So I can do all that. Um, what, what really necessarily goes into, like, uh, like a house cleaning? Like, um do, is it just on any occasion or do you get called in because something's going on in the house or it's usually because something's going on like last night i was called over to a friend's house uh, she moved into the house about four years ago mm-hmm. and she was waking up with bruises uh, she oh felt gosh. like she was even pushed off the ladder at one point and so I actually went in last night, kind of did the, just kind of just investigating, you know, very small for me. It's just going and feeling the energy mm-hmm. in the room. And because I can also see portals, I can see uh, just what's going on. I see the energies. I see people coming and going. And I can see events that's happened in the, uh, in the home. Oh, okay. So I was able to, to tell her what had happened there. And we're going to go back and I'll go in and do the house clearing with her on monday all right all right so it's it's not an emergency all right um what is an emergency (laughs) (laughs) have you had any type of like emergencies i have it's Mm. to the point to where someone acts uh they feel like they want to kill themselves oh i've had those to where i've gone to uh, help people and it's actually just energies that are in the house have to get them away and get them to a safe place and get them kind of settled down and then go back and clear out the house Man, that's, that's and that can get kind of dangerous. So that's where you use uh, people who are into the demonic. They can, like yourself, aren't you a demonologist? Uh, yeah, uh, you know what? Uh, I don't want to discuss that live on there. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, I, okay. I, uh, yes, I do. Yes, I do work in uh, demonology. Yeah, yeah, do. so, yeah. But people who are aware of that, so you can see what's going on and just kind of know who's there. So I work with other demonologists as well. Okay. Um. Oh, okay. Um, we got a we got a question okay. um, from Facebook. It is from uh, Kim Russell, okay. and uh, she would like to know how do you know when it's demonic? 
For me, I feel the energy because uh, so, I can see. Uh, hi, Kim. <laughs> so <laughs> I can feel whenever it's dark. I see the energy. So like whenever I was working with other clients and see, mm-hmm. I see the energies around. And for me, it kind of it's like a black ball, and it's almost like a storm brewing inside that energy. And that's how I can see when it's dark. And that's where I feel that. And it's almost like the hair stand on end for me. So it's like this black. Ball. A black mass yes it doesn't it can be the shape but for me the way i look at it it can be any shape it can be a square it can but usually it's the shape of a person it's so insane because the last three shows um funny you should mention that because I, I uh the first the first time i heard on my show now i'm just going off my shows okay. right uh i was talking to keith weldon and when he was having a problem, you know, um, he, he had a problem at his house for a little while. And his first thing he mentioned was he saw this black ball yes. inside of his kitchen. And it, I guess it like, it was the size of a volleyball, actually. That's mm-hmm. pretty big. He's it all is. like, it was a little bit smaller than a basketball, but he said it was the size of a volleyball. And yeah, it can like, start really small and sometimes it starts really big. So, and a lot of times I'll see it as it's already the shape of a person or just just a shape right and then he saw of course shapes at his house right. of uh the hatted man the hatted man the tall, oh, this wow. real tall guy with okay. uh, i guess this 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 the hat gram. on mm-hmm. yeah and then the um that was the first time and then the second time i heard it was uh just the last week with uh jason emmerich i believe okay. i believe he he discussed with the mirrors and stuff and right. um, things that were happening for him and then of course he dabbles in uh <laughs> some of some of the dark sides of the uh, you know yes. the <laughs> paranormal shout out to uh shout out to jason emmer good dude man and uh so this is the third time i've heard actually about like this demonic black mm-hmm. ball it's that's the energy it, it, it's, is it a is it like a common like when you're when you're doing these house cleansing is it like a common um effect or uh, how could i put it like like so um, so i think the sphere is the easiest way to get into a shape it's usually mm -hmm. getting something round is easier and just getting their energy into that shape is how they are able to manifest so it starts out as the round and then as they grow stronger they can become other shapes oh okay okay hi debbie how are you doing tonight like i said we're here live right now with uh marilyn bass she works in uh, energy work and uh if you have any questions uh, for her, the cameras are all around, man. <laughs> <laughs> it's, like, it's, like, it's like that scene in the episode of South Park where Bart is trying to sneak past everybody has their clothes on. Hi, Bart. That was Paul Sar, everybody. That was, that was Paul Sar. Uh, he was the previous show. So no, that show. wasn't the energy. That was really that, him. Yeah, it was a giant black ball that just came in here. <laughs> took a bag and left <laughs> so no nah, no nah, he good dude man great show if you if you guys have a chance uh visit radio vegas rocks um right before me and uh he, he has a great show on so anyways let's get back to uh let's get back to the paranormal and we're here like like i said if you guys have any questions uh for marilyn uh she's going to be here with me for the next hour um so yeah it gets crazy it, it get crazy, you know. I, I've had experiences. Um, we'll, t- well, I guess we'll talk about that. <laughs> later. We'll talk about that one later. But let's get back. Let, let's. Uh, so, what is um, the most scariest, dramatic, insane type of story? Or you know, I don't even like to call it a story. You know, uh, situation situation okay. that is that that has happened. So for me, it was actually with the person who had contacted the first group that I had joined mm-hmm. and uh, to do a, because she kept having issues at her house. And so it got to the points where we did a few investigations there. And then I went back on my own with a couple of my friends mm-hmm. and we did an investigation and we set up all the cameras and had everything. And she has these two mirrors and she has, she has one of them mm-hmm. and her mother-in-law has another one in Georgia. So this mirror is sitting at the end of the hallway and I'm in the doorway and I can see in the mirror and it's a portal and I can see trees. I can see everything on the other side looking through the other mirror. So I talked to Sharon about it and she tells me that what I was describing was actually looking at her mother-in-law's 
living room, dining room, out the window to the trees. So I was able to see that. So I see this little, it looks like a little gnome. Mm -hmm. He goes running across and kept running across the mirror and actually came up to the mirror and jumped through. So he's using that as a portal. And I was standing by the stairs at this point. He rushes by and almost pushed me down the stairs. You, you. That was the most startled, afraid, the only yeah. time I've ever been afraid. So the mirrors are, con were they like? They're portals to each other. Yeah, my question is, um, what's the story behind the mirrors of how they, were they already like just they were, like that? They were two or? mirrors that they bought at an antique store. And she kept one in Georgia, and she were they were they the, the same mirror. looking mirror? They were exactly this. They oh, were a pair, man. so they were actually a matching pair of mirrors. And when she brought hers here, she brought the portal here with it. Man, so that yeah, is, that was definitely. Uh, and Sharon told me that's the first time she's ever seen me afraid, and that's the only time it's ever happened. Oh man! From then on, I protect myself. <laughs> and let's let's get into that because. There's a, there's a lot of investigators I know for a fact, and they could deny it all they, <laughs> all they want. All they want, I, I know, because I, I, I always ask, like, uh, I look at the last few shows, you know, I've been on, uh, you know, I, I, I've always asked, well, how do you, you know, how do you protect yourself? And uh, the responses I got is um, they, they don't have, like a like, a belief or... Or they did it like one time they went to church or um, what do you feel is that was weird. <laughs> <laughs> You're hearing noises. I know, I'm all like I'm all over here like what was that? <laughs> so uh, I'll protect you. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> scared right now, I'll be. <laughs> so um, what what do you think is a proper the proper way uh, for protection? Or do you feel there's a proper way or, or? Well, really, it just depends on the person and on how you want to do it for me, because mine's all natural. I wasn't taught anything. So this mm -hmm. is something that comes natural for me. So what I do is it's the intent. If you go in with the intent of that you are protected, nothing is going to harm you. And as I said, if you're thinking of other things as your circle, because I circle myself with a white light of protection. And my thing is nothing can come through that white light, only positive energy. Mm -hmm. So, and if it's something that I want to be able to, because I can open and close that energy as I need to, but I never open it because I don't want anything attached to me. Right. So for me, it's just keeping that protection around me and knowing that nothing is allowed to attach to me or to those in my group. Uh, do, do you notice when like something's starting to yes. like attach to like someone else? Yes, because I can see the energy as it's coming and then I can also see the demeanor of the person and just the way they move their actions and just the looks on their face. I've even had it to where people's faces actually change. Like the, the face, the, the facial change. features change. Their wow. eyes have gotten bigger, things like that. So, you know, and their eyes were closed at the time and you can see these big eyes open and it's like, it's almost like an overlay of the face on theirs. Kind of like a filter. Yes. Kind of like one of those filters that and is. And I have seen crazy. that happen. So it's definitely interesting when that does. Man, <laughs> I don't even know what to say. <laughs> Oh, we're here with uh, Marilyn right now. If anyone has any questions, go ahead and uh, shoot them to me on Facebook. They, they like talking to each other on my own. <laughs> I'm seeing that. <laughs> yeah, I can't see it. It was today. like, oh, hey, how's it going, guys? We're here on the, here on, uh, over here on World Ghost uh, Radio. So they're over here. Uh, they're all chatting it up in there. That's, that's cool. That's cool. Um, so... Where did you learn as far as like uh, like uh, energy work and crystals and what what inspired you to to get to get into that? Well, for me, just because I wanted to know why I have this gift, I want to know what's going on with it. What can I do to help? Mm -hmm. So what I've done is I read anything and everything that I can on crystals, and that's how I learn more about that. And I anything that comes out, I do read. Not everything is true, so and I go by what I feel. So say you know, instance, if you have a crystal that you have the book part of it saying that this is what it's for, but I also go by what they feel. For me, does it work? How does it feel for me? Because mm -hmm. if I put a crystal in my hand, it vibrates. And I can feel that energy. You look like that was kind of weird. <laughs> <laughs> so no, 
no, no, keep, keep going. Keep so, going. but it's the energy. It's like a tingling, <laughs> and you know, it's just something that whenever it, you just feel the energy, and that's it. It just got me interested in it because I started picking up the crystals and I started feeling that. So I wanted to read more on that. So that's how I just started learning it. Okay. Um, we have a question in, in the Facebook Live. Okay. The question is, um, uh, what are your st steps on cleaning residential uh, cases? Okay. So for me, I go in and I'll walk the house with the clients and just to kind of get a feel of their energy in the home. Mm -hmm. But then I like to go through by myself as well. So that way I can feel what's going on there without their influence. Mm -hmm. And then once we determine that it does need to have a cleansing, I go in, I use Palo Santo. I also use um, white sage. And then I will also use crystals if I need to. It just depends on how strong the energies are there. Uh, what, what about uh, salt? I guess salt. I also use sea salt, and I use uh, you can use pink Himalayan salt as pink well. Lim I've heard of I've heard of uh, pink Himalayan. People Hima even I can't even say it right now. <laughs> pink <laughs> <laughs> Himalayan Spit salt. It out. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> so you can people even use uh, table salt because it's just a matter table it, salt. Table salt. It's really all in the intent. Uh, does it matter? If, that's what my question would be. Does it matter if it's uh, if it's a blessed or if it's it does not some type of ceremonial? It really um, depends on the religion salt. of the family. So if they feel like they need to have that blessed, that they, then they can. Then they. Uh, but it's not really necessary for most people unless you just want it. It just <laughs> depends on your beliefs because everybody has a different belief system. Yeah. Have you ever, uh, here, here's a question, have you ever encountered um, like uh, uh, people of a different religion and they were kind of skeptical of your steps or ways of, of cleansing a house? No, because once they bring me into the house, they already know who I am. Oh, okay, so I haven't good. had any issues on that. Like we're not going to let her in because... <laughs> I'm Catholic. No, <laughs> My dad no. was Catholic. You know, I haven't like, had I any. Well, now I've had people to the point of where, like, whenever I went through last night, the lady's roommate actually left because he didn't believe in what we were doing. So he just left. Oh, but so he, he just didn't try was... to stop anything. But so I do get people that don't believe in things and mm -hmm. they want me to prove it. I'm not here to prove anything. We have a question on Facebook Live that says from Brad. Does there have to be specific happenings for you to investigate or have you gone into a location with little activity? I have gone into it. So for me, I can actually pull energy from anywhere. And that's the, I can, because for me, everybody has people, things, energies with them. So I will go into a home and I can kind of see what's going on in that home. Because every, everywhere has energy, everywhere has something in their home, around them, just in the space. So yes, I have done that. That was from Brett. <laughs> <laughs> that wasn't my question. Yeah. That was from Brett. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Brett. Hope we, uh, hope we answer your question, Brett. <laughs> so, um, what, what are your beliefs on, like, uh, well, I'm sorry. You're the, just uh, quick. If you sage before an investigation, will the uh, spirits still try to communicate? That does put up a barrier. I have done both ways just to try it and see what's going on. So mm -hmm. when you're saging, it's actually putting up a, a barrier so they can't come through. And uh, now it's po if it's positive energy, they can still come through. But when you're saging, you're getting rid of the negative energy. So it does create that barrier so they don't come through as easily. Um, will, would they be able to, like, come back eventually or? They can because it's so... As I was doing, I think Jay, when he was having his house, when we were doing his, um, his stuff, then just we would get rid of it. But mm -hmm. if you keep thinking of it and you keep talking about it, you can bring those back. It's a damn demon, I tell you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I know it. Because you, you're opening the door for it to come back in the more you uh, think about it and talk about it. So for me, if, I, if I've dealt with something and then I think about that, mm -hmm. I repeat that they cannot, they're not allowed to come back in. Have you ever had to have a case like that where you had to come back because something came back into the home or usually? At Jay's. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah, because it because he was uh, still thinking about it, yeah. you know, and it was stuff, and it was finally got him to the point to where he understood what he needed to do and using my sage spray kept it around so that way he was able to keep that barrier going and then they didn't come back Mm -hmm. yeah i mean i've been i i've seen so many things where like people try to how do you feel about that as and that would be another question is um people trying to uh cleanse their their own their own house so if you're in if you're there doing it yourself and you're feeling all of these energies, your energy is still there. So sometimes it's easier to bring that outside person in that could be a little bit stronger and they just have different energies and to be able to control it and be able to remove what is there. So, but the thing is, whenever I'm doing a house cleansing, I get the people involved. So their energies are still there and they're stronger. And whenever they're, you're funny. <laughs> I was like, I didn't like the angle on my Facebook Live. I apologize. I must shorten myself. <laughs> okay. <Hi>. So, <laughs> so Jeff would like to know if ghosts can have sex. Okay. Somebody would ask that one. <laughs> Especially on this show. <laughs> they they so, wanted to know uh, if uh, ghosts could have sex. Okay. So, yes. So whenever uh, Jay knows about this, whenever I first started doing my show, um, I was helping an elderly lady who was having issues, and I started having some very vivid dreams. And I would wake up in the moment, and I'm like, okay, what's going on? And it was somebody that was finally about three nights in a row. I wake up with this going on and having an orgasm. And I wake up to it and it's like, okay. So, and then it was like, all of a sudden I hear this voice saying, come with me. So I called my client and immediately told her that I need to talk to her because suicide's not the way to go. Oh. And she started crying. So what it was is with me clearing her house, this entity was coming to me. He had been working on her trying to get her to kill herself. Oh, man. So, and then with me connecting with her, that's what he was trying to come through me. But he was also doing sexual activity with her, too. <laughs> and that's where she was having a hard time with it because, of course, she's an elderly woman and didn't know what to do. You know, so I cleared it. And then apparently he Sounds just. Sounds like she knew what to do. Well, she didn't. <laughs> but uh, he decided to come home with me. <laughs> so, yes, they can have sex. <laughs> Anything. <laughs> hey, you asked. Wait, wait a minute. So he left her and went home with you? He came and home. And ghosts can you? have sex? Mary. <laughs> <laughs> You're coming home with me. <laughs> That's the way it's going it was down. not by choice. I was asleep. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> Say, oops. <laughs> um, I, have, I have another question okay. on uh, Facebook Live. Uh, they said. Uh, or the question is, is um, they're laughing. They're laughing over here right now <laughs> on Facebook Live. They're dying. Um, have you ever had to cleanse astral vampires? I have not yet, but I've heard of them. Uh, what, what, g- give me a basis on uh, a- astral vampires. Well, for me, it's like I said, I'm I'm self-taught with everything, so I don't know all the terminologies. But for Mm. me, astral is like astral traveling. Uh, The vampires is just sucking the energy from you. And you can people can do that from a distance. And it's like astral traveling and just sucking the energy from you while they're astral traveling. That's the way I see it. Is there is there a way to uh, protect yourself uh, from that? Or I mean, you're sleeping, so you really can't. So that's where I learn whenever I'm sleeping. (laughs) (laughs) I put my protection around me as I'm going to sleep because I do, I start at my toes and work the way up just like I do whenever I'm doing the chakra sessions. I put the white light of protection around myself, but I also have crystals and dream catchers. My room really could be a store for crystals (laughs) because I have them all over the place. Do you you recommend any type of, uh, of a specific crystal? It really depends on the person. So just whatever you're basically like drawn to. For or? me, it's rose quartz, but I also like a lot of uh, hematite, but I also do black tourmaline. And then a clear crystal quartz is your, it's kind of like a master of all of them. So the clear crystal is one that I recommend to most people. Um, what do you feel about pineapple quartz? I've not had that one. 
That's the one I have. The the uh, the big one the big I got. One? Oh, yeah, okay. that's a pineapple quartz. Okay. That's what I was like. I'd like to see it. <laughs> <laughs> see if it has energy. So um, do, you, do you clear it? You know what? I don't. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I do. I take that back. I do. I'm just. I'm a lazy clearer. You know, it's whenever I like. Like <laughs> I'll tell you what it. I mean. Like I know the full moon comes out, and then. Um, like if I find out that the full moon's coming out, then I'm like, oh, the pineapple quartz. I should go set that out. Yes. And, uh, but I'm lazy about it. It's just when I ever hear about a full moon and a full and moon. And that's fine. As, yeah. So uh, what the uh, uh, crystals do is actually take the negative energies from around you. And have you ever had a crystal that's just sitting there crack? I actually have had that one time. Uh, there was this uh, crystal that I got from, uh, from the shop. And it was supposed to take away like some type of energy. It was like a black and red. I, I can't remember. And then I was just holding on to it and it just like snapped in my hand. Okay. So what like that means half. is the crystal took that negative energy into the crystal and it took it from you. Hi, Sharon. Sharon. <laughs> Sharon's on. <laughs> hey, Sharon. <laughs> <laughs> so I told your story. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was Sharon's story? <laughs> I think that uh, Sharon Kunkel. Oh no! Is this is uh, okay, so for, for, for 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 uh, only um, uh, Jen, Jen's mom. Oh, Farnoli. Okay, yeah, Farnoli, hi, Sharon. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> There's too many Sharons. Yeah. <laughs> um, Tracy says, "There we go." Like I said, right now we have Marilyn Bass here with me live on World Ghost Radio. And uh, we are talking about some very interesting subjects here as far as energy works. So uh, <laughs> if, you guys, if you guys have any questions, <laughs> move on. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you could, uh, you could, um, you know, you could ask us. Uh, so <laughs> let's get back to, let's get back to the show. Um, she's all love you guys. We love you too. <laughs> we love you too, We Sharon. love you too. Um, where, where, where would you like to like investigate? I, I know like you you've done investigations before, but well, do you have like any type of like dream place to place to go to that you would like? Does it have to be a specific place, or can it be? Because I want to go to Ireland. Ireland. I want to go and see all of the castles and just feel all the energy there and just see what's going on. I don't know why, but I feel like the UK. Yes. Is way more hot <laughs> than the U.S. <laughs> Absolutely. I, I watch videos all the time from the U.K. And they just have like this crazy stuff that I've seen as far as videos. Oh, yeah. Um, that I can't truly debunk. Like, like usually I'm a great debunker, you know. Yeah. I'll sit. Like, like when you get into this field, you know, you, when, if you don't know, then you'll see... Uh, what they you're like oh I could debunk that oh I could debunk that oh, yeah. you know oh yeah. I, I I don't believe that or this is that well even as a psychic medium I do the same thing it's like well you know they could be doing this or because so I'm right. looking for things so that's my first thing is to debunk it before I go there you know if I see a shadow what could have been that shadow right you know so and then that's when I connect with it so everybody it it's just natural to debunk it yeah but like overseas any like. <laughs> <laughs> Ireland, it's hard. UK, yeah. that those play, yeah, those castles out there. Uh, do you have a, a specific castle that? Not really. Not I really? just want to go all over. If I can just go and for a year, I would just love to go all over and just just, just travel. Man, that's 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 cool. Um, where? Sorry, I'm just uh, reading the comments real quick. <laughs> Any, any comments on that side over there, Jane? No, none at all? Uh, yeah. All right. Um, so let's get back to the chakras. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> the safe subject. <laughs> um, what, 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 what do you feel is like, I, I remember like we, we were doing, what was it? Seven, seven crystals. Yes. Seven crystals. And, each uh can can you tell me a little bit more about each uh, crystal and the purpose of of you know where where they're supposed to go and what the 
what they're used for. And, okay. Yeah. So uh, there are seven energy. So we have the chakra points is that we are is the seven energy points in our body. We have millions of energy points, but the ones that we really focus on are the root chakra, the sacral, um, totally forgetting what it was, the solar plexus. Uh, mm -hmm. We have the heart. We have the throat. We have the third eye and the crown. So that's where I use the specific crystals for those. And I'm using uh, red jasper for your root. And whenever I'm doing the uh, classes, I tell, because I like to lay everybody on their yoga mats mm -hmm. and we place the crystals. So I tell everybody on the red jasper, you have to get intimate with that stone because that's where your, uh, the root is at your, it's at the base, it's at the base of your spine. So where you're going to put it is right between your legs, <laughs> mm -hmm. you know, so it's going to be right there. So the energy, the crystal works with your chakra to help that get into alignment. Then when we get to the solar plexus, I use the uh, orange, cit orange citrine. Mm -hmm. And then I have the, um, I can't even think, I keep forgetting what it is. <laughs> the <same. laughs> It's not like there's a bunch of cameras I in know, front of you right? and we're not a radio show <laughs> the, right now, you know? Like. The sacral. <laughs> and then that's where I use the uh, green aventine. And so other people use different crystals. Those are the ones that are that I use because that's mm -hmm. what's drawn for me to help with everybody because I use my energy as I'm doing it too because I'm also a Reiki master. So uh, as I do the, the green and then... Shokure, the shokure, shokure. Hey, if you got it. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> so, and on the heart, I do the uh, rose quartz. Of course, that's for love. Mm -hmm. So, and then on the throat, I do the uh, lapis lazul. And that one is the most common for most people to have their chakra is out of alignment and off balance is their throat. Because most people don't say what they need to say or they communicate in the wrong way. Oh, okay. So that's the one that's usually off. And then it I happened do to be falling off of me the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> it, it was at bouncing that, uh, off. At, at that, it was bouncing off. I couldn't even keep it on. Um, I talk a lot of trash. That's <laughs> <laughs> and you don't say what you really need I to don't say. Really say it. <laughs> don't say it at all. So. Yeah. And then uh, for the crown, I, for the, I'm sorry, for the uh, third eye and the crown, I just depends on the person. Mm -hmm. I will switch those up. I use the uh, clear crystal quartz or the um, purple amethyst. And just depends on, like I said, on the person, where those go. And then I also work with the colors as we're getting into the meditation. I just walk you through the process uh, and help you learn to align your chakras. And this is something that you can actually do at home as well. Once you learn what each one of the crystals do, and I help you connect with those crystals. So I guess my question would be, um, does the crystals absorb the energy or like, how do the crystals work? Do they absorb that negativity or do they actually, are they giving you? It's both. Both? So it's pulling the negative and pushing the positive. So whenever I'm working with you, everything mm -hmm. goes in a clockwise. Everything is goes in the clockwise position. So it's spinning and then you're getting that positive energy. You're pulling in the positive and pushing out the negative. So the crystals with those energies of the crystal help you connect with that. And it just, you'll start feeling tingling once you're connecting. Your entire body will start tingling with that. I would, you know, and that's funny because like I, I was at the class and uh, I was laying down and then I was like, man, you know, I... I go okay you know this is this is good and then i sit up and the next thing i know i'm like whoa <laughs> <laughs> i'm feeling like off balance i'm all like what what's, well, it makes what's you going dizzy. on it's yeah because of all the energy and that's what i tell you take your time open your eyes and sit up slowly because it will because there's so much energy flowing through your I was body like, oh. you're doing that and then i came up and i was like oh but yeah. i just got hit i was like what happened so and it does work and that's where I, that's like I told you, rub your hands together and then kind of pull them apart just a little bit. You feel that, that friction. That, that is energy. how the energy from the crystals work with your body. Yeah, that is, that is insane. And what I do with my classes, I also, I hand pick each one of the crystals whenever I'm doing those classes. So each set are hand picked. So for a specific for uh, each client, different each different client. It can be different for each uh, okay. client. There's one I have, Julie. Hi, Julie, mm. if you're listening. Hi, Julie, how are you doing? <laughs> World uh, Ghost Radio. <laughs> yeah. uh, she actually, I have her with clear crystal quartz everywhere. 
because she needs the stronger to help her keep in alignment because she's actually open. Uh, she has abilities as well, but she doesn't like to use them because she's afraid of if she tells somebody something wrong, she's going to hurt them. So she chooses not to. Because oh. if you, while you're doing what we're doing, la, la, you la, can't la, hurt loopsia. people. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. But no, I'm talking just like with the spiritual, um, oh, with the spiritual okay, guidance okay. and stuff. She's got mm. all that. But oh. if we tell somebody something wrong, there's, uh, for instance, some oh, of so if she's afraid to make the wrong misguiding. choice, misguided, yes. yeah. And yeah. so she doesn't want that responsibility. So, but the clear crystal for her are what's stronger to help her alignments to, to get, the energy where it needs to be. Um, I had a, another uh, question on, like, like I said, guys, if uh, you have any questions uh, about energy, um, astral projecting, uh, astral vampires. Um, ghost sex uh, <laughs> can ask me right now on Facebook Live, <laughs> so that way we so we could get some uh, questions. I did have a like I said, I did have a, a question earlier, which was um, if uh, you have a crystal in the in the house, just basically setting somewhere, mm -hmm. could that absorb? Uh, positive and negative energy just being or does it have to be like used or well, no just sitting it in the home it works but you have to also clear it because it absorbs energy and it can only hold so much so it's something that that's where i was asking if you clear your crystals because once it absorbs that negative it re it puts out positive energies but now oh, okay. there are some crystals if you put them together they don't work well together so you can't Put them side by side. You not, have not to team know. players. You gotta exactly. <laughs> <laughs> you have to keep no them exactly. apart. <laughs> oh man! So, but there's you know there's all kinds of crystals that you can that you can work with, and just having it in your home it helps with the positive. People, you know, just the sunlight will come in. If you have a light crystal like the clear crystal quartz, anything that doesn't have a bright color, you can uh, charge those in the sun. Yeah, that's why I know there's one that you uh, can charge in the in the sun. Then there's. Uh, well, what is it? Selenite? You don't have to charge at selenite. all? Well, you really do need to clear it because that's oh, what I use. It. So that's what I have one of these right here. There's there. I think there's a couple where you don't need to clear from my understanding. Mm. It, from my, Even though they say you don't need to, I recommend that you do still anyway. Do. Because it's, you know, it's going to hold on to that energy. Um, so you need to release it. Like, so I heard there's like some, some crystals, they need to be washed. Yes. Okay. And then I don't know which ones they are. <laughs> <laughs> no, I wasn't going to ask. I, I was just like, I, I know there's different. Um, the dirty ones. <laughs> the dirty, the dirty ones. ones. The extra dirty ones are the ones you need to, you need to clear so out. What I actually do is like my uh, sprays that I make is uh, they because I cleanse mine and it's a, a cleansing spray, but it's it's a liquid. Mm -hmm. So you can set it in that spray if you want to. But you want to be careful on some of them with uh, how porous they are because it'll ruin the. Um, ruin the texture and yeah everything yeah the, that's what i heard like yeah. i heard like some washing and like salt and himalayan yes. salt and uh they have like these prayers that they say on a i, I don't know if you know too much about it but this is what i've heard yes. <laughs> and i guess they they do they do mess up the the crystal it can so you yeah. have to know which ones that you can put in the water and some of them if you just put them in there cleanse it and let them dry but if you let it sit in the water you're going to damage the crystal um the ones that I know this is going to sound weird. The ones that... Or did you have a question? Well, uh, Lisa Marie on Facebook Live. Hi, Lisa. Hi, Lisa. When you do the chakra alignments, do you have to do all seven points or can you go with just one point? So I recommend doing all seven points because if you only work on one, all of the others are all look kind of look like a snake going through the grass. It's all just kind of all out of whack. So if you only work on one the others can pull that one back out of alignment. So what I like to do is work on all seven and then start concentrating on one at a time. So I'll go through the seven and then like this last class, went through all seven and then concentrated on the root. Mm -hmm. And then the next class will be solar plex. And then I'll go from pro progress from there. But mm -hmm. you do want to go ahead and do all of them. But there are some people, once you've got that balance, you can go in and concentrate on just one. Man, yeah, it's, uh, <laughs> I was in that class, I tell you, 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 you want to get all seven in. <laughs> I want to feel right if I just did one, I, I'll tell you that much. Uh, um, yeah, so uh, 
I was about to say this question. Uh, Debbie already has it, um, and Lori, Lori too. Um, the question is, is that do you, you know, to charge these crystals at night, do they have to be on a, on a full moon, or could they be just any any moonlight? It's better on the full moon, but it can be any moonlight. As long as you're giving that energy back to it. But like I said, it, you, if you can get it on the full moon, you're getting the full effect. But if you just set it out for me, what mm -hmm. I do is I'll put mine in a crystal bowl and I'll put it on in a bed of sea salt and then I'll put it in the window. A lot of times I'll So let me get this outside. recipe down. You said a crystal bowl. <laughs> crystal bowl. <laughs> <laughs> then uh, sea salt. Sea salt. <laughs> and then in the window. In the window. Uh, I just I just put mine um, just in the window, or I'll even like take it outside and I'll put it on the roof. I, li I do it outside as well. So the um, but I don't put them in salt or anything. You don't like, have to, but I, I for me, that's it, just yeah. an added clearing. It just add, gives it a little bit more energy because that salt will pull the negative out. Is that what happens? Yes. Like, all right, I was wondering what the salt was like. Salt I know it is used for protection. Salt is used for protection, but uh -huh. it also pulls, pulls the negative out. So it pull, So you hear that? The salt pulls the negative out of the crystals. For those that didn't know. Those I didn't know. I know I got some experts in here, you know. <laughs> some of the experts follow me, you know, in uh, Facebook. So, all right. I'm not trying to, not trying to kill it well, for you. Well, and that's where everybody has their own methods, you mm -hmm. know, and this is what mine are, but other people could have something different. I'm not saying they're wrong, but this is how I do it. That's how, that's how she does it. I like to keep the um protection crystals in the windows yes definitely and um i guess uh, debbie was mentioning that uh the sun can fade certain crystals yes if you have a colored crystal like your red jasper mm -hmm. if you put that in the window it's a really bright red color and it's going to fade it so anything with a really pretty color if you put those the sun can take away that so those are the ones that you want to do in the moonlight She's all like a crystal Reiki master here, yes. Debbie. <laughs> <laughs> I am too. Thank, thank, thank you, Debbie. Thank you. <laughs> um, yeah, so we're 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 already at nine fifty, man. This I'm telling you, it goes quick. It goes it goes <laughs> it goes pretty fast around here. Um, so, uh, is there anything you know you'd like to say? Uh, uh, any any information that you'd like to give to uh, you know the World Ghost Radio? Uh, just um you know any guidance <laughs> <laughs> just stay protected stay protected <laughs> stay protected stay that's protective. the biggest thing so and but i like i said i also do uh the house clearings i do psychic readings and uh, i do group and individuals and families and stuff like that so if anybody needs to get a hold of me you can get me at my website at intuitive world or intuitive touch world.com and then i'm also on facebook under mary lynn bast and <laughs> that's it. You and got you can reach me at 702-569-1240. You heard it, folks. If you need a house cleansing, if you need guidance, if you need a chakra done, you get a hold of uh, Marilyn Bass, and she will be able to lead you in the right direction and uh, be able to help you out. Um, so that is uh, about it. Let me... Of course, you know me. I'm uh, Rocky on World Ghost Radio. And before I go, I want to thank the man, my boss, the <laughs> owner, <laughs> the producer for today, the man who, the, the <laughs> Mr. International, whose birthday is, uh, is this weekend? Is that right, boss? Sure. So uh, I want to say, Thank you to, to Jay, you know, for uh, helping me out um, on my show and, uh, you, know, help, you know, doing all the production and the background that you'll see on the other video that I put out. <laughs> so so uh, thanks. And if you guys want to get a hold of uh, me, oh, my new plugs. Uh, just, uh, I just want to take uh, two minutes out of uh, the time. Um, I got a new website. It's called uh, Paranormal On Air. Dot com paranormal on air.com um <coughs> you can also follow us on instagram <laughs> Woo! at uh pmz underscore tv and uh it is the tmz of the paranormal so uh be sure to check that out 
You could also uh, get me at a worldghost.com. I am on Facebook at World Ghost and Paranormal On Air. So uh, you can find me there. If you guys have any more questions. And I just uh, want to say once again, thank you for uh, coming on this show and telling us, you know, giving us a lot of great information. Well, Marilyn. thank you for having me. Man, it's, it's, it's great. You know, I, hopefully, you know, you can come back again and <laughs> we'll Anytime, talk some more. Just let me know. All right. I will be here. All right. And uh, I guess that wraps it up for uh, World Ghost Radio tonight. And always remember, happy haunting, everyone. Take care.